What's going on today, guys? This is Justin, and this is my video of one year later with the iPhone 12 Pro, and if you should buy it, let's get started right now. So guys, I'm gonna go, be going over some pros and some cons of the iPhone 12 Pro, and at the end of this video, I am gonna be coming to a conclusion on whether or not it's still a good buy, and if you should choose the iPhone 12 Pro over some of the other phones that are available right now. But the first pro about this phone, guys, is that it is very light. And for me personally, having the phone up to my ear and using the phone for long periods of time, whether I'm checking emails, checking my stocks, texting, using the internet, or doing anything that requires having the phone in my hand a long time would promote the fact that a lighter phone would be more convenient. The second pro of today's video is going to be the fact that this phone still has a great camera. They updated the camera to this uh, electric shaving meme, I guess that you could say, um, lap two years ago. And for me personally, I think the telephoto lens, wide angle lens and ultra wide angle lens still do the job. And for most people still is going to get the job done. The telephoto lens I use basically on a daily basis, and it actually really helps to capture good photography, basically portraits, things like that. And it's just an all around good lens to have. I don't really use the ultra wide angle lens unless I'm doing something that really requires the place to look big like taking photos or pictures of like a, a room or a house or something like that just to kind of exemplify what's going on in the photo. The wide angle lens still does a good job. So overall guys, the pro is the, the camera does a good job and I don't really think anything more is necessary. And All right guys, what's going on? So this is the front facing camera on the iPhone 12 Pro. I wanted to give you guys a good um, kind of like example of what this looks like if you are to buy the 12 Pro for your personal self. Um, it's super bright out here, so I can't really see too well, um, but this is the front facing camera. So this is pretty damn good quality on this end. It looks extremely good, but that's also because I think I'm looking at it on a really nice screen. Um, but anyways, guys, this is a great example. So this is also without an external microphone. So this is just the actual phone itself. And please excuse the dog barking in the background, but it is what it is, right? So the third pro to this phone, guys, is that unlike older phones, this phone does have a pretty good battery life. The pro is, is that it does get the job done and most people who work a nine to five job or are medium ish users are going to have a fine job with this phone and getting through the day. The next pro number three on the list today, guys, is going to be the fact that this phone still has 5G. So for me, this is probably the biggest pro of the whole video, just because if you are looking to buy a phone and you're like, I don't want to maybe pay a lot of money, but you also don't want to get like an iPhone 8, this phone does have 5G. And even if you went with a smaller model like the 12 mini, which this phone is not about, the 12 series does have 5G. So having that good sound uh, voice quality, having that high data speeds and everything that comes with 5G is still an option on a device like this. But number four for this list is gonna be the fact that this phone still has a great screen. I already went over the size, it is 6.1 inch, but it also is OLED, which means that most phones these days aren't really gonna have a better screen than that. This is a 60 hertz display, but for most people who are doing average things, this phone is gonna do the job just fine. And number five for today, this phone still has 4K video. It does go all the way up to 60 frames per second. So if you are really into video, this phone is still gonna do the job and it's gonna do it just fine. So I would say that if you're somebody who's looking to take a lot of videos, TikToks, whatever it's gonna be, and you're like, which phone should I get? The iPhone 12 Pro is still gonna be a fine option to consider. Number six, guys, for this video is gonna be the fact that this still offers wireless charging and it does offer fast charging. Fast charging on the iPhone 12 means if you use something like an Anchor 20 watt charger, you can actually get away with zero to 50% in just 30 minutes. Number seven on the list, guys, for the pros today is gonna be the fact that this phone still performs just fine. These zero problems with using it as a daily driver, although it is about a year, two years old. So guys, now on to the cons as we don't really wanna go into this, but you're probably here to find out, well, why shouldn't I buy the 12 Pro? So the first cons is guys, I do have to kind of cycle back to pros on this one because it's a tie, is that the battery life is not great. So the second con guys for today's video is gonna be the fact that there is no cinematic mode. So I did say there was 4K video on this phone, but there is no cinematic mode. So if you're somebody who really likes video, cinematic mode on the 13 Pro and Pro Max is something that allows you to have two focus points in video, kind of creating a Hollywood effect. So guys, the next con for this is gonna be that the that this phone does not have 120 refresh rate. If you're really into gaming, if you watch a lot of sports on your phone, or you just really are into technology and analyze everything about it, like me, then you're probably gonna wanna go for a 120 hertz refresh rate, which is available on the iPhone 13 Pro. 
The next con I will say, which is actually kind of a big deal, and I've started to notice recently as I've been analyzing my phone, it doesn't have a very bright screen. Now, if you are somebody who super into technicalities, it does have a bright screen according to numbers, but one thing I've really noticed about this phone while using it is that using it in broad daylight in the direct sunlight is very hard and difficult. The 13 Pro is just extremely easy to see in daylight to the point where you kind of question how that's possible with the direct sunlight. It's just easy and very practical, and frankly, it's just very nice and convenient. So anyways, guys, the overall conclusion of this, and this video was meant to educate you guys on the best phone to buy today, and if the 12 Pro is really the best phone for you, but I would say it really comes down to what you're looking at buying and what you're needing, but if you actually want a total conclusion, I would say for the average person buying a phone today, the 12 Pro does the job and it does it just fine, and you should definitely pick one up if you are sold. So anyways, guys, this is Justin. See you next time.